Bye, ladies and gentlemen. You know how much of a struggle it has been to get good lighting. First of all, my skin looked lumpy. I actually kind of look good. Um, it has taken me ages to get this lighting to look good. Selfies, selfies be like. Okay, anyways, but hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? What is up? Ew, that was so gross. I hated that. Anyways, how are you guys doing? So I wanted to make like a story time video this week, but then I was like, there's nothing interesting that happens in my life. Well, that's actually kind of a lie if I have enough stories to make an entire story time video about it. Anyways, um, also my editing program decided to update, so if things are like a little weird or seem a little bit different, it's because I'm still figuring out how to use it and it's being really slow, so. Um, I have a Google Doc, first of all. Who uses Google Docs? me because i did this on my computer um so i just have some stories from middle to well like childhood to middle school and we're just gonna be sharing with you some of these great good fun and fresh stories yeah yay. um so yeah if you guys there she is <laughs> if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button follow me on my social media instagram or twitter energy to it and snapchat at series i love you guys so much and let's just Get right into the video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, these stories aren't going to be told in any particular order, but we're just going to tell them. So, the first story happens to be the time that I kissed my best friend and then ran away. Great, can't wait for that. <laughs> so, um, this story dates back to sixth grade. Sixth grade was the worst year of my life. It was just like one of the cringiest, crustiest, just, just... That's not a word, but what it's gonna be for this story. It was not good. In that year, I also became obsessed with flat bill hats. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> that year, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go get me a little girlfriend because I was just a player. So, I knew this girl. Well, you already know who my best friend is. My best friend's name is Kai or Emma. But we decided to start dating, um, me and my best friend, and one day, I was just like... So what would you do if I kissed you? That is literally so nasty, what the heck. And she's like, oh, I don't know. And then, word got around to me from, I think, this kid, we'll call him, he comes up in another story, I think. Yeah, he does. Um, we'll call him Bran. Brandon was like, oh my god, you and Emma should, like, you're gonna go, like, kiss by the bathrooms by school. And my school was literally, like, my old school was literally so weird, so there was, like, the middle school wing, where it was literally, uh, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, seven grades of people all into one hallway. It was literally such, so weird. Um, so, why am I holding this tissue with me? I'm literally so nasty. Um, so there's, there was only two sets of bathrooms, and the one bathrooms, um, didn't have, like, doors, or one set of bathrooms didn't have doors, and one set of bathroom did, and this was down by the counseling office, our old sixth grade homeroom, and then our old art room slash English teacher hallway, so, um, we decided to go down there after, I think, I forget what class, I think it might have been band class, or math class. I don't, I forget what class. This was in sixth grade. I was so dumb. And we went down by the bathrooms. And I thought it was just going to be like the two of us all like romantic. Um, but it ended up, there is this kid, Brandon. Um, he was there the entire time with us. And it was really awkward because he was pressuring us to do everything. So, you know, we do like our little, literally, sixth grade kissing was like, Oh my god, we're like married now. Oh my god, you might be pregnant. That was weird. Um, yeah, sixth grade kissing was just like a little peck, and then everyone was freaking scared and they didn't talk to each other for like a week. So I was like a corny little like scaredy, scaredy cat, and my friend like, kiss her, kiss her, I'm gonna kiss her. And I kissed her, and Brandon was like, it's my turn now. I was like, shut up, you nasty little like piece of trash. I'm violent. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I ended up just running away because I was scared and I did not want to face 
my fears, and that is still a reoccurring theme in my life. So yeah, um, little did we know we'd be best friends and tell each other everything. So that's just like a little weird thing about our friendship. Um, so yeah. Okay, these stories are so weird, like half of them are like middle school stories and half of them are just like story stories. So we're gonna move on to the next story. I think the camera's focused, probably not. Um, so this next story is the time that I sat with all of the girls in my class and cried over a breakup in like a little tent. That sounds so creepy. I need my, I need my spray. Hold on. Blur this out. Blur like the Arby's out. Oh, not sponsored. We're brand friendly here. I eat Irby's like every Friday. I'm literally so fat. <laughs> Hi, how are ya? Back to my channel. I love being Jeffree Star. I'm like the knockoff Walmart version. Oh my god, it's so funny. Okay, so again in sixth grade, I was a player and I dated like three, dated three girls. Um, the next one, we're gonna call her. Krista. So, um, Krista, if you're watching this, I think you know who you are. You'll figure out who you were, um, once you find out. I know you still watch my videos, you still try and follow me, and it's not good and fun and fresh. You need to leave me alone because we ended on bad terms, and we're not gonna get on good terms ever again. So, um, she was, like, the cute, like, popular girl. Like, she came from, um, a different school, everyone was like, hey, Jeff, and I was like, never gonna have a shot with her because let's just be honest, I never shoot my shot because I am a wuss. Um, so I ended up like in the weird like simulation glitching sixth grade, we ended up dating. Um, and I remember this one day in gym class in sixth grade, we had like this weird PE teacher. He was really creepy. We could go on another tangent about him. He just used to be so weird. He was creepy. Um, gym teachers are always creepy though, so what's the point? Uh, like literally, gym teachers are always creepy. That's weird. Um, anyways, so in sixth grade we had these like free days in gym where basically like you got to get like the scooters out. Oh my god, throwback. Yes, in sixth grade, we still played on the scooters. We were like eight year olds. So, like, the boys had the one half where they could play basketball, and the girls had the other half where they could sit in the scooters and cry. But I didn't like the boys in my class because they were all literally trash and annoying. So, I sat with my friends, and I'm just like chilling out, and I see Krista in the corner with PJ. He. This is another boy. This is the guy she cheated on me with. Um, I see her sitting in the corner with PJ, and they're like nuzzling, and I'm like, oh, not today, Miss Queen. Um, I thought I was your boyfriend, not him, and I thought, you know, every breakup people just cried, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna cry too. So, the girls in my class, like, took like the, um, what are those, gymnastic, like, not tarps, gymnastic mats, and like they would like make like um, tents, and we would all hide and talk. So I went in there and I cried, cried um, over uh, a girl that was not even that attractive. Cut that out. It's gonna make the video get all mad at me because it's gonna be like, ooh, ooh, oops, you can't post that because you said naughty things. So yeah, um, that was a time I sat in a tent with all the girls, all the girlies, and cried about a breakup, so. Oh, this is not good for me. I hate reliving these stories. Okay. Okay, this one is a shout out to my cousins, who I think might be watching this video. What's up, queens? I would have featured you on my YouTube channel in like August. <laughs> but we all know what happened in August. <laughs> We're just not gonna talk about it. <laughs> That literally still triggers me. I don't know why, Erin, you need to, like, get over it, sweetheart. Okay. 
Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. Um, this is a <laughs> this is such a weird story. I hate that I'm like exposing us. So, if anyone, anyone, how can anyone not remember the show? First of all, if anyone remembers H Harry and Fur. What? What the heck is Harry and Ferb? If anyone remembers Phineas and Ferb, then y'all remember the um, character Candace, and she had a best friend. Her name was Stacy, and she also had a boyfriend, and his name was Jeremy. Ah! Oh my god, this story is so weird. Okay, this has like a lot of parts to it. Um, this, there's two parts that I remember because they both took place at this house. I don't remember really any of the other stories. So, um... Oh, jeez, this is such a weird story. Um, basically, we used to think that they were, like, real characters in our heads, and they all had this army of rats. Oh my god. Hi. Oh my gosh, that's so awkward to, like, say. I hate that I'm, like, exposing. Us. But basically, we just like thought that they were like there was like a good Stacy and a bad Stacy, a good Jeremy and a bad Jeremy. Bad Jeremy and bad Stacy had these group of rats, but like the rats were good people. This story doesn't make any sense to anyone except my cousins and like maybe the few people that can actually comprehend what I'm saying. So basically, um, we are like goal in life was to like defend the rats from like the bad people. So I remember one time in the winter, uh, we have these, like, woods behind our house, and when there's, like, a lot of really small trees. They're, like, like, maybe, this looks really weird. I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. cut that out. Um, they're, like, maybe, like, as big as, like, this. Um, and, like, they're really easy to, like, crack in half. So I remember it had just snowed, and they came over to our house. I think my grandma was here, or they just came over. It was, like, a day in the winter day of my life um and basically we took these like chunks of snow and ice and we were like shredding them against the tree and they were making like smaller pieces and we were like we gotta make enough food for the rats like this has to be like inventory for the rats this story does this story does not literally make any sense except to my cousins i said that like three times so yeah um that was the time we used to make food for the rats <laughs> The second story has to do with, um, the rats and Stacy and Jeremy, but bad Jeremy and bad Stacy. So, in my room before, I used to have a bunk bed. Oh, jeez, these are all things I have to look for pictures of. I think I had, I had this bunk bed in sixth grade. I'll see if I can find a picture of it. I hate, the only pictures I have of sixth grade are on my Google Photos, and I hate going there because it's, like, dark and depressing, and it reminds me of sixth grade. But basically, right where we're sitting, there's like a big bunk bed right here. And underneath it, I want I wanted to be a teacher so bad. Um, so I had all of this like teaching stuff. So I had like a whiteboard and I had like um, whiteboard cleaner. And I just remember this day, we thought it would be so fun to like take a whiteboard cleaner mixed with hand soap and like water peroxide. Probably could have like, I don't know, something could have blown up. Who knows? Probably not the smartest. And we thought it would be fun to just add, like, colors to it. And then dump it on the carpet. <laughs> so, I think... Mm, there might be a stain. There might be a stain somewhere over here. But we did get new carpet, like, two, three, or four years ago. So, I don't think it's there anymore. But, um... We did think it would be fun to just dump... Stuff all over my carpet. And then make my parents really mad. But you know what? It's okay. Right now, this carpet is old enough that when I used to make slime videos, insert that video you just saw, um, on my carpet, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod when I'm done filming. Remind me at 6.30 to get that shot of the slime. Sorry, I can't remind you about the docs app. Set a reminder for 6.30. Get the shot where the slime is. Okay, I'll remind you. That's the weirdest reminder I've ever made. But yeah, there's like a spot of like slime over there from when I used to be a slime maker, so... Yeah, um, okay. We have one more story left and this one is just so good. Okay, 